Hello everyone, and welcome to Nick's stream. Today we're going to be playing some Ghouls and Ghosts on the Sega Genesis. Let's check it out. So today I'm playing with my 8-bit Do M30 controller. Wireless. Awesome. So let's check it out. Alright. The opening screen here. Push start button. One, two options. 1988 Capcom. Now as a kid, I was actually able to beat this game through many playthroughs and uh, lots of memorization. I highly doubt I can still beat it. But we'll play it as tough as we can. We'll play it through. So in this game, it's uh, made by Capcom. You play as Arthur, the knight. And you throw lances. And there's infinite enemies, and they just keep on popping out. So if you stop in one spot too long, uh, they'll just keep, still keep coming out. So I find the best strategy for this game is to just keep on running through uh, without stopping. And if you can see here, there's some chests, but they have uh, some of them are fake and they have enemies in it. Others will have uh, uh, suits of armor in it. So the health, how it works in this, is uh, you have essentially two hits. You have uh, your suit of armor and then your underwear. See, I just uh, got hit and I lost my suit of armor. If you have a suit of armor and you pick up another one, you get the uh, super set of super armor. It doesn't get you any more health. But it uh, gets you a uh, special move, which you can uh, use. Essentially, you... Say, I just died. Skeleton. Skip that. Let's try this again. What's good about this game, if you play in practice mode, you get infinite life. Um... Even though this game's really hard and you die a lot, you have infinite lives, so it's not as bad. Oh, there's the knife. Too bad it's stuck in the grave. The knife is the weapon to get if you can get it. There we go. Got my health back. I love the music in this game. It's, uh... Definitely some of my most uh, memorable music uh, on the Sega Genesis as a kid. Um, I personally like this version of the game more than the Super Nintendo version. Uh, I know the Super Nintendo version has a lot of slowdown in it, uh, where this one doesn't. This one runs pretty smooth. And I, uh, I prefer the music in this one as the Super Nintendo one, even though it's similar. Okay, this part here, you just kind of want to run through. You don't want to stop. You got the wind blowing you, slowing you down. You just want to get through as quick as you can. You made it through. Okay, so that chest there is a fake one, I believe. Sometimes on the left, a chest will pop up there. Ugh. Arthur's jump is also a little bit tough to control. You gotta commit to it. Because once he starts moving in the air, there's no going back. Oh, looks like we're at the first boss. Ah, killed him and I died at the same time. Unbelievable. Alright, let's try and make it to the second level. There, that's easy. Okay, there's the key, opens the gate. Let's continue on. 
see here it shows the map of the entire game and it shows how Arthur moves through so it's quite a ways to get to the end. Alright so this is the second level. This level is like ridiculous because you got these bouncing, bouncing metal turtle shells coming at you but they can stop at any time and turn back into turtles and not only that the turtles can also shoot, shoot at you as well. So even though this is game over we can still continue here. So let's see if we can get past these guys. And like everything else I find in this game, you just kind of try to run through as quick as you can. And not stop, because as soon as you stop, that's when you get killed, I find. Oh, this time. No, you're not. Closer to Like I said, you can't stop. As soon as you stop, they build up and they get you. Alright, let's try it again. I remember this part being this hard. That was a close one. Should've got hit there. Almost there! Okay, we made it finally to the top of the hill. Okay, so this part you gotta be careful. Uh, you got these things here, but they, you can fall through them, and there's no. I don't think there's any real indication that uh, where you're gonna fall through, so you just gotta hope that you don't. Because if you end up in the bottom, there's these uh, tremors type guys that will eat you. This time we're gonna make it. Heal. Nope, not that time. Ugh, may help us. Nope. Ah, I thought I was gonna get past that time. Nope. No getting lucky here. Just dying a million times. We'll just keep going. Nope. Okay, of course that's an enemy. I saw, I think it, okay, I got the knife at least, so that's a little bit better, I think. So now, since I got the knife, I'm going to have it permanently until I pick up another weapon that replaces it. back and forth here. Whew, that was a close one. I'm almost there! Okay, we made it to the top again. Hopefully we can make it through without dying. Oh, this guy's coming after me. No! Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, of course. Now I gotta do it all over again. Coming from all directions, these turtles are unbelievable. Boost that gave me when it hit me. No matter how. Now. Nope. Of course, by the bug guy again. So this is not gonna fare well for the rest of the game. Powerful, slow. Might even better just to start the game over and then uh, come back to it with uh, with the with a better weapon because this axe is terrible. You know what? Let's do that. Let's start from the beginning. We'll come back into the game, and then we'll uh, 
we're only in the second level, so it's not like we're too far in. So let's see what we can do here. You can see here I hold down the attack button, I can charge it, and I get a lightning shot with my uh, super armor here. Fortunately, the super armor doesn't get you any extra health, which would be, more, which would be better than having this charge a lightning bolt shot. Okay, first area is complete in the first level. There's a checkpoint here, so if I die now, I'll start back here. But I shouldn't. I can usually get through this part pretty easy. Good. Okay. Let's get charged. We're about to fight the boss. Okay, we beat him. Second level again. Hopefully we're a little bit more successful this time running through. Now that we got rid of the axe. Look at that. First try this time. Unbelievable. Okay, so hopefully we can make it to the end here. Of this area. And once we're past this area, I believe we're at a checkpoint. And the rest of the level is actually a lot easier than the beginning there. Get up, get up, get up! Alright, we made it past the first area. So now we got a time to get past this flame. Whew, we made it. Alright, next thing. This monkey guy who throws skulls. And shoots burrs at you. If we go this way, I wonder if we can just avoid him. Looks like he chases you. Well, hopefully I got a checkpoint. And I can just avoid that guy. Yeah, it looks like I made the checkpoint. Oh, bad start there. Gotta get through all these flame guys. Okay. Oh, bad start there. Oh, 
so close. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Arthur is not capable of jumping over things if he's right against them. He just ju jumps up, he won't get an arc. That was a risky move, but it worked. Alright, I think we made it to the boss now of level 2. I think this boss is pretty easy for the most part. Alright, level 2 complete! Finally! We can end this video soon then, because I don't think I'm beating this game. Alright, level 3, here we go. Play it for a little, but then we'll uh, give it quits. This video is already going long. So it looks like we got a vertical level. Elevator level. Yeah, we're going to avoid that. Let's stick with what we got here. Yeah, of course. Alright, some fresh armor. We gotta run now. Whew, that was a close one. Alright, we made it there. Okay, it looks like we're on a tongue, maybe. Alright. Got the dagger back. That's a good start. Well, this level is so far a lot easier than level 2, that's for sure. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's see where that starts me. Okay. Looks like they give me a checkpoint here. That was close. There we go. Oh, of course. Okay, well. Oh, I don't know. Kill it with Kobe there. Oh, these guys eat you apparently. I'm sure, kill me there. I'm assuming. Well, folks, I'm going to end the video there. I think I've died enough for everyone, so have a good night. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you don't like what you saw, dislike. Throw me a comment down in the bottom. And uh, subscribe.